Hello everyone. This is the first video in lecture series on lipid chemistry and at the end of this session you should be able to define lipids, classify them with suitable examples and enumerate the functions of lipids. Lipids are the organic substances which are relatively insoluble in water but soluble in non-polar organic solvents like alcohol, ether, benzene, chloroform etc. They are actually or potentially related to fatty acids and utilized by the living cells. Lipids are classified in four classes. The first is simple lipids, second compound lipids, third derived lipids and fourth is miscellaneous lipids. Simple lipids are made up of fatty acid plus alcohol. Compound lipids are made up of fatty acid plus alcohol plus additional group. Derived lipids are those which are obtained from hydrolysis of simple or compound lipids and miscellaneous lipids are those which do not fall in any category of simple compound and derived but they possess the characteristics of lipids. What are simple lipids? They are the esters of fatty acids with various alcohol. The examples of simple lipids are triacylglycerol or triglyceride which is also called as TAG and waxes. TAG are the esters of fatty acid with glycerol and they are uncharged that's why they are also called as neutral fat. The fat we mostly eat is triacylglycerol and fat that is deposited in our body as a fuel source that is also triacylglycerol. Fat in the liquid state is called oil for example the vegetable oils like groundnut oil, corn oil etc. And the waxes are esters of fatty acids with high molecular weight monohydric long chain alcohol and they are not important in human metabolism but they are widely used in pharmaceuticals and cosmetic industries to make certain lotions and ointments. Compound lipids are made up of fatty acids plus alcohol plus additional group. The examples are phospholipids, glycolipids, lipoproteins. Phospholipids consist of fatty acid plus alcohol plus phosphoric acid and nitrogenous base. And depending on the type of alcohol present in the phospholipid, they are further classified as glycerophospholipid if the alcohol is glycerol and sphingophospholipid if the alcohol present is sphingosine. Lecithin, cephalin, cardiolipin, phosphatidylserine, phosphatidyl inositol, plasmalogen, these are the examples of glycerophospholipid which contain glycerol as alcohol and sphingomyelin contains sphingosine and sphingomyelin is the example of sphingophospholipid. Glycolipids consist of fatty acid plus alcohol. The alcohol is sphingosine here and carbohydrates. That's why they are called as glycolipids. Carbohydrate plus lipids. The examples are cerebrocytes and gangliosides. The third example is lipoproteins which are complex molecules made up of lipid plus protein and the examples are chylomicrons, very low density lipoprotein that is VLDL, low density lipoprotein that is LDL and high density lipoprotein that is HDL. The third class of lipid is derived lipids and these lipids are obtained on hydrolysis of simple and compound lipids. The examples are fatty acids, steroids which contain steroid hormones like mineralocorticoid, glucocorticoid, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone etc. Eicosanoids which are derived from arachidonic acid which are 20 carbon compound and the examples are prostaglandins, leukotrans, lipoxins. Ketone bodies are also derived lipids which are formed from acetyl-CoA. The fourth class of lipid is miscellaneous lipid and they possess the characteristics of lipids. For example, squalene which is formed during the synthesis of cholesterol and carotenoids. Let's enumerate the functions of lipids. They are the storage form of energy. Triacylglycerol are stored in the adipose tissue and in fasting and starvation, adipose tissue triacylglycerol are broken down to form fatty acids which are further oxidized for energy. They are structural component of biomembranes. For example, phospholipid and cholesterol they are present in cell membrane. 
Metabolic regulators like steroid hormones, eicosanoids like prostaglandins and leukotrienes perform various functions in the body. They act as surfactants, detergents and emulsifying agents. Also act as electrical insulators in neuron, for example, spingomyelin. They provide insulation against changes in external temperature due to subcutaneous fat. They give shape and counter to the body. They protect the internal organs due to pads of fat. Help in absorption of fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E and K. And one of the important phospholipid that is phosphatidyl inositol is a second messenger in hormone action. The various diseases which are associated with the lipids and their metabolism are atherosclerosis, diabetes mellitus, obesity, fatty liver and various hyperlipoproteinemia. In the next video, we will study about fatty acids, their nomenclature, classification and functions.